This is the sixth year that we've uh, run Girls in ICT Day. It's very nice to see that each year we have uh, increased participation and uh, this year is the first year where we're taking advantage of our uh, remote participation facilities to, to join with uh, the celebrations in Vilnius and uh, Beirut. Good morning, bonjour, just good morning to all of you. I think girls in ICT Day is really important because a lot of girls do really come together and they can share the experiences of the projects they did. It's really good that we get to interact and have speakers come in and tell us about what is happening and how we can achieve our goals in life of ICT. So while I think that's one of the first um, uh, steps to getting uh, girls more involved is to promote it uh, through the web um, to make it more known to the girls that they can have career opportunities. I think that to encourage girls to uh, go into technology oriented careers, we need to start at uh, education, targeting from a really young age, making sure that uh, girls and boys have equal opportunities. Never lose confidence in yourself, in your skills. Um, the ICT sector, I think it also needs some femininity, let's say, sensitivity, creativity, what women can bring to the field, it needs what we can bring. I think Girls in ICT Day can encourage girls to get careers in ICT because we're able to see, you're showcasing many really interesting mentors who have successfully kind of had a great career in ICT and it just shows the girls that there's so many opportunities and you can do really whatever you want. What would you regard as a successful outcome of this day of campaigns? I think we can already say the day has been a success because we know from our Twitter feed on hashtag girls in ICT that there are already hundreds of events all over the world.